Hey everybody, this is Greg Johnson from Veramax Fitness again, and today I want to go over another TRX workout that we can do start to finish. So one of the things that I'm going to add is, for most of you who have TRXs at home, you could be using a door or a wall. So I'm actually going to put this box here in the gym to replicate the fact that there could be a wall here to show you what you could do to avoid going either into the wall and things like that. So to start off with, like any other workout, I want to start with basically a dynamic warm-up. So we're going to start with a few things off the TRX, and we're going to use the TRX for the rest of the warm-up. So just to start with a basic warm-up, I always like starting with some basic jumping jacks, and we'll go for about timer reps. And you may not be able to see it, but I'm also going to keep my heart rate monitor on so I can tell you roughly how many calories we're burning in the heart rate. After jumping jacks, we'll switch to seal jacks. And after seal jacks, we'll go into open gates. And we're going to do a little bit of squats with the TRX here in a second as well. OK, when you're ready. In order to set up the TRX, for most of the exercises, we're going to have the handles at knee level. All right, we'll be able to use that for almost the entire workout. All right, so depending on what TRX you have, you may either have to Flip the, the D ring or press the carabiner. And here's what we're going to do to start with. So, always make sure there's some tension on the straps. All right, we're just going to go into some basic squats. I'm more using the straps as a support, not to save my life. I'm working on getting depth in my hips, opening up my hips and ankles. And all we're doing is we're just warming our body up, getting ready for the movements that are going to be involved in the workout as well. From that position, I'm just going to take a small step forward. We're going to start with some TRX rows. All right, now again, I'm not trying to make these very hard, just warming up the upper body. All right, when I'm in a full extension, I'm holding a plank. When I'm coming up, I still stay, stay in a plank. I should never see slack in the straps. I'm only coming to the straps, not through the straps. Same thing, we'll go for about 15 seconds. As we go into the workout, I'll do my best to talk and work out at the same time. All right, now in this position, I'm still gonna stay in the position of a row. All right, but now I'm gonna add a squat. So butt to ground, stand up and pull. Down, down, up, up. No matter how far down I go, I'm trying to keep my back flat, not rounded, chest up. I'm just alternating back and forth, getting some more of the posterior chain, squeezing the glutes, pinching the shoulder blades. A couple more, butt down, eyes up, chest up. Okay, from that position, we're just going to flip around. And again, if you notice, so far I'm not even close to that door behind me. All right. Again, this is just a basic chest press. I'm not trying to go very far down to make it hard yet. All right? We're just going to loosen up that upper body. We're going to go through a couple more warm-up exercises. So we did the squat, the row. We're adding the press. quads and shoulders. So now, same thing from that position. I'm going to start in the bottom of a push-up. All right. I'm going to squat down, but I'm loading the balls on my feet. And then as I stand up, I'm going to press up. Hands down, butt down, butt up, hands up. Hands down, butt down. All right. So these are also known as Superman. It's just like you're taking off onto the ground. And we'll do a core version of this shortly. Butt down, arms up. Everything down, everything up. Everything down, everything up. Now, I'm, notice I'm not sitting back on my heels. I'm still I'm relying on the straps, leaning forward into the straps. All right, if that's too hard, you can walk your feet out, butt down, butt up. And my heart rate's getting into the 60s here, getting a little bit warmer. All right, from that position, so we're going to start. Walk your hands, walk your feet up so the straps are above your head, keeping tension. And as I step forward, 
it's actually going to pull my upper body back. All right, so I'm going to scoop the hips just like we normally do the lunge with reach back. All right, but as we lunge forward, the straps, the T-Rex help pull me into a reach back. All right, so when the right leg goes forward, right arm goes to the side. I'm going to alternate back and forth. The bigger step I get, the bigger scoop I get, the more stretch in the chest I get. Step scoop. And then as we continue, I'm going to add a little bit more arm movement. So when the left leg goes forward, now I'm going to bring the left arm all the way behind me, like I'm aiming towards my heel. So I'm really opening up that other side. Step, scoop, and reach. one, if you have room, all right, you can hold the straps, and I'm going to have you go into a lateral lunge. Now, if you don't have room, if you're in a hallway, just let go of the straps, and I'll have you do a normal lateral lunge wherever you have room. Always great to open up those adductors. All right, so since I have the straps, lunge out to the side, lunge out to the side. Again, if you don't have room, maybe I can just bring my feet to the edges of the hallways. One heel, other heel, eyes up, chest up. The lower I get, the more I feel that tension in the adductor. And then after this, few more reps, we're going to go into core exercises. All right, take a break. Now, again, I'm intentionally going to set this up to where if there was a door, all right, these straps would be hanging on the door. All right? Now, quick little reminder, if you do have this on the door, the door should open away from you, which means when the straps are over the top, it closes and it pulls against the frame, not the door. All right, so same thing. I'm going to start with handles in the same exact position. All right, I'm going to bring my heels in. All right, easiest way to do this, grab the handles, roll on your back, tuck your heels in. Now, from here, I have a slight bend in my knees and my feet are almost touching the door. If I were to make this more difficult, I could come out away from the door. So when I do the bridges, it's knees in, hips up, Hips down, knees out. If that's too difficult, I'm going to come in close to the door with my knees bent. But notice I'm still not touching the wall, still not touching the door. Knees are going to stay in, hips up, hips down. All right, so we're going to go for about 30 seconds of just bridges. I'm going to stay here, all right? Knees in, hips up. Again, I'm not pushing against the door. Right now, it's actually not touching the box at all. If you want to make this more challenging, Hold for a few seconds, abs tight, bridge up, squeeze the glutes. Got about 15 seconds left. Want to increase the tempo. Try not to let the straps touch. Definitely don't let your knees touch. And take a break. Okay, so now, if you weren't extended, I'm going to have you go extended now. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold a bridge position. My toes are going to be pulled towards me. Again, if you notice, I'm not touching the box. I'm not touching what would be a door. Toes up, hips up. And for about 30 seconds, I'm just going to pulse, extending my heels out. My big toes are driving in like I'm trying to point the bottoms of my feet out to the walls. We'll go for 30 seconds. Ready, go. All right, if you need to, rest down for a little bit. Otherwise, abs are tight, glutes are tight. Dig my big toes in and really press the bottoms of your feet to the outsides of the straps. If you do that incorrectly, you may find your feet roll off the sides. Really keep those big toes planted into the TRX. Now you should feel this right around the hips, the glutes. My core is working, my glutes are holding me up, and those glute medius are starting to kick in, just like we normally would with band walks or clamshells. Last few seconds. And take a break. Okay, so now we're going to go into the anterior core, some planks, some roll-ups. All right, so now here's the best way to do this. I'm actually going to put my feet up against the door without actually touching the door, without actually pushing against the door. Straps are going to be out in front of me. All right, and we're basically, I'll show you a couple reps. We're basically going to do a roll-up, a kneeling Superman. So now for these, if you do want to make them harder, you can extend them all the way out almost to the point where they're touching the ground. All right, so. Starting upright, straps are barely touching the shoulders. 
abs are tight, and I'm just going to extend out and pull back. So I shouldn't see your hips sagging. I shouldn't see your low back arching. Shoulders down, abs tight, extend out, and then come back. Now, if you don't have a wall behind you or a door behind you, you could scoot back a little bit more to make this a little bit more challenging. Extend all the way up. Again, if this is easy, hold for a few seconds. Try not to let the straps touch. Abs tight, shoulders down. Got about 10 more seconds, and then we're going to give you a little variation of this. Again, this shouldn't be too, too high of a heart rate right now. This is just core, shoulders. If you have bad shoulders, don't go up quite as far and hold for longer periods of time. All right, go ahead and take a break. So now for 20 seconds, we're basically gonna do a, a, a circle, all right? So from here, I'm going to reach all the way out and I'm basically gonna come all the way around and back. And I'm just gonna alternate back and forth. The other option of this is depending on how much room you have, you can come out to the side and back just like you normally would, like a rotational roll out. All right, but otherwise I'm gonna go big circle, big circle, both directions. If you do have bad knees, you could continue to do this standing, kind of like we did with a warm up. All right, if I wanna make it more challenging, I'm gonna go back a little bit further all the way out, becomes a full plank position, hinging at the hips to come back, extending at the hips to go out. Right. Again, last couple things. All right, if you want to make it more challenging, you can go on other variations, you can come into a Y, you could come out, work the arms to both sides. There's a whole bunch of variations you could do here. All right. Last couple, stand out, give you a couple other variations. All right, now we did flutes, we did anterior core, so I always like doing either obliques or side crunches. So here's what we're gonna do. Now, let's make sure these are back up to about knee height. All right, pulling the tab, pulling the yellow up so it's about knees, I'm short, okay? Now from that position, I'm going to take one strap. Now if you have this loop here, you can take one strap. Otherwise, if you have an old set, which hopefully you still don't have those old sets, all right, you can actually go into single handle mode where you crisscross these two so they're locked up. You should see a little mustache there, all right, so it doesn't fall out. So now, to do my side crunches or my, my obliques, all right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand directly underneath the strap and I'm basically going to support the strap on my head. Now if I want to make this harder, I can walk my feet in a little bit where I can offset my feet. And now my goal is to take my outside hip, drop it down to the floor, and then I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and my obliques to come back up into basically a side crunch. Right, hips down, squeeze. I should feel that through the lat, through the obliques, into the hip. We'll go for about 30 seconds. Tall as you can, I shouldn't see you slumping or crunching or twisting. Chest is up. Last couple seconds. All right, and we'll switch sides. So we'll go in this position. All right, shoulders back. All right, strap on top of the head. Slight angle to the body. I'm holding with both arms, offsetting my feet. Dropping my hips out to the side, squeeze and come back up. Check the time here, 30 seconds on each side, as tall as you can. Again, I don't want you slumping or twisting. Last 
few seconds. And take a break. All right, so that basically hits all sides of the core. So we get anterior with the rollouts, uh, posterior with the bridging, and then the obliques. All right, so now we're going to go into a little bit more higher intensity, get that heart rate up. So if you did put your handles in single handle mode, go ahead and switch that back out. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do three rounds of a cardio circuit. So basically a metabolic circuit. So what we're going to do, I'll show you all three first because I'm going to give you some variations on the third one. So we're going to start with sprinter starts. All right? I'm, my hands are outside the straps. All right? I'm resting on my thumbs and I'm at about a 45 degree angle. So now if you notice again, I'm not very close to that door. If you're too close to the door, you're going to hit it. So I'm at about a 45 degree angle, and I'm going to step back towards the door, not very far, and I'm going to drive to the ball of that front foot, drive through, drive through, okay? So we'll go over that in a second. The second thing we're going to do is a lateral bound. Again, if you have straps, you bound in one side or the other. If you have the room, if you're not in a small space, if you are in a small space, just don't worry about the straps. Lateral bound. And then the third one is going to be Kind of a user's choice. If you want, we can do what's called a triple jump. So I'm going to start in that same 45 degree angle like the sprinter starts. Two small jumps back. Again, I'm not close to the door. My knees are at 90 degrees. I'm not sitting back on my heels. And I'm jumping forward. Two small back, one forward. Now again, depending on what you're standing on, you could also do just a basic squat jump. If you have stuff at home, like a med ball that does not bounce, you could do med ball slams. If you have a kettlebell, you could have a kettlebell swing. So basically, I just want a third explosive double-sided exercise. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to shoot for 30 seconds on each side when the sprinter starts, 30 seconds of lateral bounds, and 30 seconds of either a triple jump, uh, squat jump, or cardio of your choice. All right. When you're ready, all right, straps underneath, 30 seconds per side. Set. Go. Drive through. Pop. Drive through. Pop. All right, so again, if you look at my legs, I'm at about 90 degrees. My front leg is supporting all my weight. I'm not driving off the back foot. If I do want to make this a little bit more challenging, I'll actually gain ground, lose ground. Gain ground, lose ground. So if you look at my plant foot, it jumps up about six inches and back. About 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Take a break, shake it out. We'll give you about 10 seconds rest in between. So now same thing. Make sure I'm at that 45 degrees. Ready, set, step back about a foot and drive. Front leg is doing 100% of the work. The back leg, the moving leg, is literally just moving. It's not driving off that back foot. We don't want any pulled calves or achy Achilles. Seven seconds left. And take a break. Shake it up. Grab a little water if you need to. Sneaking out a screen here. Heart rate starting to come up. So now we'll go into the lateral bounds. Grab the straps. Now again, if you don't have room where your TRX is, no TRX, lateral bound. Since I have the TRX, I'm gonna use it as a guide. 30 seconds, stepping to each side, ready? Go. All right, I'm not pulling on the straps. The straps are basically just being used as a guide and allowing my upper body to be aware. I'm trying not to let my back foot touch. If I'm doing these on my own, lateral bound, no back foot touching. Only touch if you absolutely need to gain your balance. Let's go a couple more. Three, two, one. Take a break. Now for the first set of these, I'm going to go into the triple jump. Again, if you don't have room, we'll just work on a squat jump. Or if you're just not comfortable on the triple jump, it does take a little getting used to. 
All right, so quick little reminder, starting like a sprint start, 45 degree angle, two small hops back. And I'm only looking at about three inches, three inches, six inch hop forward. Three inches, three inches, six inch hop forward. All right, ready? 30 seconds, and go. And again, if you notice, as long as these straps are at knee level when I started, I'm still not coming very close to the door at all. If you're even coming close to the door, you're probably going too far down. Two back, one forward. Two back, one forward. If you're not comfortable with this, but you're still trying it, you can step back, step back, jump forward, step back, step back, jump forward. Three, two, one, take a break. All right, so that's the first set of cardio. My heart rate's up at about 84, 85%. You should be moving, heart rate's beating, sweat gone, all right? So we're gonna go through two more rounds of this. Sprint starts, lateral bounds, and a third variation of your choice, all right? Give yourself a little bit of a breather here. Let the heart rate come back down. Now by all means, if while well, we're getting another 10 seconds rest, if you guys have any problems with the ankles, with the knees, don't feel like you need to do the ballistic movements, all right, you can just step back, step forward, or you can go without, find a step, step back, step forward, step back, step forward. You don't need the TRX if you want to do a regression of these. Otherwise, the progression is adding that pop, that big hop forward. All right, 30 seconds. If you remember what side you started on last time, I started on the right, let's do that again. Ready, set, 45 degrees, go. Step back, pop forward. As we go into these next couple sets, I may find myself not talking quite as much, but just being a timer. Just remember, even though I'm doing a lower body exercise, my spine stays up, I'm not slumping, I'm not rounding, I'm only going to about 90 degrees on the front leg, popping forward. 10 seconds left. You should feel a little quad burn. And take a break. Shake that right leg out. All right, and when you're ready, give up five more seconds, we'll go left leg. At this point, if you need extra breaks, take it. We're doing three rounds. If you need, take, need to, you can take one set off. Ready? Other leg, set, go. Five seconds left, two, one, take a break. All right, shake that out. I'll give you another option here. All right, so again, if you need to, you can use this for anything. You can do a med ball slam, a kettlebell swing. Right? Instead of doing the triple jumps this time, I'm just gonna do a squat jump. I'll give you a couple different angles to work on form. 30 seconds, starting in about 10 seconds. Breathe as you need to, water if you need to. All right, 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Chest up, butt back. All right, all I need is butt back, leave the ground. If you're not comfortable, small hops. You want to make it more advanced, you can do a knee tuck. Otherwise, your squat jumps, load the hips, load the heels, fire off the toes. 10 seconds left. I just realized I went out of order. <laughs> we'll do lateral bounds next. And take a break. That's what I get for not using notes. All right, next one is lateral bounds. Shake it out, give yourselves about 10-15 seconds. All right, just to give you an option. 
We'll go without the straps for the second set. Use the straps if you need to for posture. Starting in about five seconds. Two, one, take a break. Lateral bound, don't let the back foot touch. Chest up, reach with the opposing arm. All right, if you have the straps, holding, holding. Chest up. Halfway, chest up, eyes up. Coming down the back. Chest up, eyes up, loading my hip. All right, I'm not slumping down, loading. Load the heel, fire off. Three, two, one, take a break. Two rounds down, one to go, then we're gonna get into some strength. We're about 25 minutes into the workout. One more round, give yourself a little rest. 15, 20 seconds, same thing. Sprinter starts. And we'll stick with the order that I switched to. Sprint starts, user's choice, and lateral bounds. Now, if you, if you notice, this is going to be a little bit more cardio than some of the other workouts that we've done, but we are going to get back to strength. When you're ready, last set of lateral bound, or sorry, last set of sprint starts. All right, lean in, 45 degrees. Ready, set, go. Tap and go if the legs are getting tired. Keep the ball of the foot planted. You still want more dynamic explosion? Drive off the toe, come back. 20 left. Again, as you're getting tired, don't let that back foot do too much of the work. Front leg only. Back foot is just tapping. Two, one, take a break. Shake that leg out. Should be getting tired. Here we go. Five seconds left. We got the other leg. Extra rest if you need it. Ready? Set. Go. Tap and go. Tap and go. Again, not coming close to that door. Not even close. Load the heels. When we get into the strength. I'll explain a little bit more about that. Five seconds left. Two, one. Take a break. Let them go easily so you don't hit the door. User's choice. Med ball slams, kettlebell swings, triple jumps, broad jumps, lateral bounds. Right, I can do a broad jump. Hop forward, hop back, okay? Starting at five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Butt back, load the heels. All right, change up. You guys are still doing the triple jump. Quick little reminders. Balls to my feet, two back, no more than 90 degrees. Pop forward. I'm not sitting all the way back on my heels. Pop forward, butt back, pop forward. If I was doing a jump, right, butt back, I'm not sitting on my heels. Pop forward. 10 seconds left. Add a little twist, literally. And take a break. All right, last one's the lateral bounce. Camera check. All right. Last set of cardio. I'm at about 400 calories. We're just under 30 minutes in. Starting in five seconds. 30 seconds of lateral bounce. Ready? Set. Go. Chest is up. Loaded hip. Just like it would without the straps. Three, two, and one. All right, take a break. Let the heart rate come down. I'm at about 85, almost 90%. You guys may be higher. Grab a sip of water if you need to. And the first set is gonna be foundational strength. 
squats, rows, and presses. And we're going to go into a little bit more dynamic stuff. All right, first one's going to be basic. Let the heart rate come down a little bit. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to keep straps at knee level for the first couple exercises. All right? Just going to go 15 more seconds. A couple of reminders on the straps. You always want tension on the straps. You never want slacking. All right? You always want to keep that tension. All right? You're controlling your body. The straps are just a support system. They shouldn't be saving your life. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a very, couple variations of squats. All right, so normal squat stance. I'm going to come here so you can see me. I want feet wide and the hip width apart, toes slightly out. You're going to load back onto the heels. All right, butt back, squeeze the glutes. In order to make this harder, I'm keeping tension on the straps with my upper body. I'm trying to rip the floor apart with my feet. All right, we're going for 45 seconds on the strength. Controlled movement. You're not trying to get as many as you can. Shoulders back, wide stance. Ready, set, go. Butt back, pull and squeeze. Think about my eyes towards the attachment point. Shoulders back, squeeze. All right, spine is straight at the bottom, butt is back. Squeeze, rip the floor apart. For the purpose of easy timing, we're going to go 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, totaling a minute, which means 15 seconds left on the squats. Again, the straps are just supporting. If I were to do this without, I shouldn't fall over. If I were to cut those straps, I shouldn't fall over on the squats. All right, take a break. Now, right from that position, you're going to walk your feet forward. Now, this is where, for 45 seconds, if this is too easy, you can bring the straps up so you can get closer to the door without touching the door. But otherwise, it's 45 seconds. I want slow, controlled movements for the purpose of strength. All right, slower is better for strength. Tall as you can. 45 seconds. Ready, set, go. Lower yourself down. Shoulders down. Squeeze. All right, control down, two to three seconds. Squeeze and pull back up. Notice I'm only coming to the straps. I'm not coming through the straps. All right, tension at all times. If this starts getting hard, a small step forward makes a difference. If it's too easy, walk your feet forward or raise the straps. But again, if you notice I'm not even close to the door, tall as I can. 10 seconds left, down slow, squeeze and pull, down slow, down slow, down slow, squeeze and pull. Three, two, one, take a break. Keep the straps in your hand, third exercise. You're basically just gonna spin around, all right? I'm going into a basic push-up. Straps are gonna move, so this could be harder than a normal push-up. If you need to, start at about a 45 degree angle. The straps are not going to touch my arms, they're gonna stay above, all right? Starting in about 10 seconds, all right? So control it down. If I want to make this harder, I can walk back, but I shouldn't see sacrificing a form. Ready, set, go, 45 seconds. Control down, pop up. I want to make that harder. Scoot back towards my door. Control down, control down, control down, pop up. Control down, control down, control down, pop up. If you really want to work on strength, three, sec three second eccentric, Pause at the bottom, don't let straps touch. Three second concentric, so feel a little wobble. It's tougher than it looks. Down slow, up slow. 15 more seconds. We'll go back to normal, down slow, pop up. Down slow, pop up. All right, take a break. All right, so grab a sip of water if you need to. We're gonna go to another set of squats. Uh, this time I'm gonna show you a variation of overhead squats. Here's what we'll do if that basic squat was too easy. Now, if you look at my hands, I'm going to put my hands inside the strap with my thumb on the outside of the strap, and I'm basically going to hold the straps up. I'm using shoulder scapular stability. So if I squat, the straps are not holding me up. I'm holding the straps up, All right? So I'm going to start walking underneath, hips back, creating tension with the straps. 
45 seconds. For even time on my sake, we'll start in five seconds. All right? This gets too tired, grab the straps, going back to a regular squat. Ready? Go. Butt back, hold the straps up. Shoulders back, butt back, eyes up. If I were to let go of the straps, I shouldn't fall. Butt back. If you have bad knees, grab the straps, go back to neutral squats. Eyes up, chest up. Try not to look down, try not to slump, try not to lose tension on the straps. You'll feel this in the back of our shoulder blades. Butt back, eyes up. Last 10 seconds. Eyes up, chest up. Two, one, take a break. All right. We'll go back into rows. All right, so now again, if you want to, let's do double arm rows. All right, as tall as you can. Now, for those who need it to, if you absolutely need to, bring the straps up for these ones. Bring them up, get the yellow to the top of the loop. All right, so now I can go a little bit lower. 45 seconds, starting at five. As tall as you can, and go. Control down, back up, that's easy. Step forward, close to the door, shoulder down, control down. Back up. If depending on what your flooring is and what your shoes are, if you're sliding, come back and bend the knees. So that way you're flat-footed, close on the heels. Shoulders down, elbows down, eyes up, chest up. If I want to make this harder, I can go into a high row. Alright, but my elbows are high, my shoulders are down. High row, mid row is about a 45 degree from the body. Low row is elbows scraping the sides. It's got about 15 more seconds and why not? Shoulders down, pull up. Tall as you get. Three, two, one. All right, last set of push-ups. So again, I'll give you a variation. We'll bring those back down to knee level. Again, if you want a comfort basic, start high, work yourself low. If you do want more of a challenge, I'll give you a little bonus. Right? Toes in the straps. All right? Again, I'm not touching my door. Almost at the door, but not quite. All right? This is going to be a tough 45 seconds. All right, but it's basically a push-up, or I'll give you an also a version of an atomic push-up. Starting in three, two, one, down. So you can start with just a suspended push-up. Or you can add a crunch. I'm going to turn my hands out a little bit. I do have to turn my hands in just to see my watch. I'll give you a few more seconds of this. Now watch when I go down. I shouldn't be sagging, shouldn't be arching, and I shouldn't be slumping. All right? So, again, if you need to, if that's too hard, come back up to the basic push-up. Or if you're already up here, basic push-ups. Last 15 seconds, and then we're going to change it up to a different strength routine. Three, two, one, and take a break. All right, first strength set down, two rounds. We're gonna end with one more set of strength. Try to keep this under about 45, 50 minutes. Grab a sip of water if you need to. So we did, we did quads, we did chest, we did backs, and now we're gonna do some of the other accessory muscles. All right, I'll give you a couple options for some glutes, more quad stuff. All right, so let me show you all three exercises and we'll get into it. Heart rate down, grab water if you need to. The first exercise is gonna be a pistol squat to a single leg deadlift. All right, chest up. If you can't do a pistol squat, you can do a lunge and a deadlift. When you're doing a pistol squat, you may need to rely on the straps. Foot out, chest up. In the single leg deadlift, you're gliding. The straps you're using as a support. I'm not leaning in on the straps. Or you're going to head towards that doorway. So we're going to go 30 seconds on each leg. Pistol squat, single leg deadlift. And then from there, we're going to go into T's and Y's. All right? So my starting position should be equal with the straps in a T position. And I'm going to control myself down. Pull into a T. Control myself down. Pull into a Y. 
right? And then the last one is going to be basically a skier pull, right? Just like I'm pulling down on skiing, right? Same thing, same position. Pulling down, you'll get more lats. Now, I'll go into variations of this, but if I need to start, I can actually use one foot as a little bit of a kickstand and take some pressure off my hands to make this a little easier. If I find yourself doing this or hiking your shoulders, it could be too hard. All right, so we'll do 30 seconds on each leg with the pistol squat, single leg deadlift, and we'll go 30 seconds of T's and Y's, 30 seconds of lat pulls. All right, ready, set, go. Same leg the whole time. Butt down, foot toe forward, up back toe up. Load the heel, chest up. Use the straps if you need to on lunge. Use the straps as a guide on the single leg deadlift. But down, toe up, but up. Again, same thing if you need to. Lunge and deadlift. Otherwise, toe up, butt up, chest up. Three, two, one. Shake it up. Should feel that in the glute a little bit more than the past set. All right. Starting in. Two, one, other leg, go. Chest up, pistol squat, single leg deadlift. Pistol squat, single leg deadlift. Again, single leg deadlift, the straps are just supports. When you get good, even on a pistol squat, the straps are just supporting. If you need to, to learn the exercise, heel down, butt back, don't be afraid to use the straps. Five more seconds. As best you can, try to keep that chest up in the pistol squat. I can feel myself rounding. Try not to. All right, take a break. All right, so now we'll go into T's and Y's. If the Y's are too hard, just focus on the T's. All right, so starting position, I'm going to walk myself forward so I'm equal with the straps for the T's. All right, shoulders are down. All right, ready, set, go. Control down, pause, shoulders down. Pull back up. My body stays in a plank. Control down. I shouldn't see slumping in the upper body or dropping in the hips. Glutes are tight to hold me in place. Up to a T. Right. Go for a Y. If the T's are too easy, just do Y's. If the Y's are too hard, just do T's. Otherwise, alternate back and forth. All right, keep the shoulders down. Last couple of seconds. And take a break. All right, so you shouldn't have to move your feet on this one. You're going to be in the same position. The strap should almost be at your thighs. Chest up, shoulders down. I'll give you one demo. Control yourself down, but my body stays in a straight line. I shouldn't see this. All right, and once you're down, shoulders down, pull the straps to your thighs. In other words, the thighs come up, but you're pulling from the hands. Shoulders down. We'll start 30 seconds. Set, go. Control down, body straight. Glutes are tight, shoulders are tight, down. Glutes are tight, shoulder blades, down. Pull up. All right, if that's too hard, give yourself a kickstand. Pull with the hands, gently press with that back foot. If it's too easy, walk down, chest up. All right, if you still want a variation of this, once I go all the way down, I can drop my hips, and then I'm gonna pull and pull at the same time. All right, hands, what? Spine is straight, legs are straight, squeeze and squeeze. As far as I can. And take a break. One round down, one to go. Last set of strength. Split squat, I'm sorry, uh, pistol squats and single leg deadlifts. And then T's, Y's, and uh, lat pull down eyes. Grab a sip of water if you need to. I'll give you about 15 seconds to do our last set. We're almost at about the 45 minute mark. All right, I'm at about 650 calories. If you're using a myosome, I've been in the yellow almost this whole time, so I'm at about 135 max. All right, when you're ready, elbows at your side. Quick little reminder, pistol squat, a single leg deadlift. Ready, set, go. Toe up, chest up. If you need to, graze the heel, sit back. All right, so that lead knee, that working knee, doesn't go too far forward. It's uncomfortable. Lunge and deadlift. 
level hips, level shoulders. All right, when I come forward in the deadlift, my hips and shoulders should be level. I shouldn't see twisting. Two, one, take a break. Give yourself about 10 seconds. Shake that leg out if you need to. Long rest if you need to. Heck, hip pause if you need to. Ready, set, go. Last leg exercise. Maybe we'll end with a cardio finisher. Level hips, level shoulders. Level hips, level shoulders. Chest up. Last five seconds. Two, one. All right. Take a break. All right, we'll go into T's and Y's. All right, same thing, walk forward. Control back. Ready, set, go. Body straight. Control down. Pull up. Control down. Pull up to a T. All right. Eyes up towards the strap. Eyes up towards basically where the attachment point is. As tall as you can. Control down. Shoulders down, all the way up. Time check. Five more seconds. Shoulders down, all the way up. Control that, control that, control that, control that. Up to a T, last one. Shoulders down, control that, control that, control that. Take a break. All right, when you come back up, again, straps should be your side. I'll show you that variation again. So first set is holding the strap, shoulders down. You should feel those lats turn on when you pull on the straps. Control yourself down, straight spine. Then pull back up. Otherwise, stay straight in the spine, and as you go down, you're going to hinge in the hips. All right, so I get more full range of motion in my lats. So instead of going here, I'm going full range of motion. Last 30 seconds of strength. Ready? Go. Control down. Pull up. Again, if you need to, pull a kickstand. Shoulders down. Pull up. And again with the hip hinge, down, hips down, squeeze and pull, tall as you can at the top. All right, when you're pulling, I shouldn't see you look like this at the top. I want chest up like a superhero. Butt down, squeeze, pull, chest up, up over the straps. Last five seconds, three, two, one, take a break. All right, I got a little bonus. We got a little cardio kicker, where it's only involves three movements. So what we're going to do is for 30 seconds, using the straps, you're going to do a alternating hop lunge. If you need to, just do a step back lunge. For the next 30 seconds, without stopping, you're going to do a assisted squat jump. 30 seconds non-stop. And then the last thing you're going to do, again, without stopping, after 30 seconds, you're going to sit back and lunge. You're going to go up on your toes. In the last 30 seconds, you're just going to pulse. All right? Squat lunges, I'm oh, sorry, jump lunges, jump squats, and a pulse. 30 second cheese, 90 seconds, and we're done. You ready? Starting with lunges, set, go. Alternate, again, I'm just using the straps as a support. If you're getting tired, try to keep up, try to use the straps. If you absolutely need to, switch to a step back lunge. I'm gonna try to keep going here. 15 seconds left in the first round. I expect those legs to be getting shaky by the end of this. Switching without stopping in three, two, one. Shake it out, go straight into hop lunges. You don't need to leave the ground too much, but I want you to at least leave the ground by a few inches. 10 down, 20 to go. If you need to, or if you have bad knees, just do speed squats. Try to keep going here. 10 seconds left. Four. Three, two, one, get to the bottom of a squat. Come up on your toes, shoulders back, and we're pulsing. Butt up, chest back. If you absolutely need to put the heels down, butt up, chest up. Quads are running, 20 seconds left. Oh, it's been a while since I did this one. 15 seconds left. Eyes up, chest up. Ooh, 10 left. Only stand up if you absolutely need to. Five left. Get on the balls of your feet. Three, two, one. 
Take a break. I'm at about 95%. That is the quad burner at the end. All right, we're at 50 minutes exactly. We'll take a few minutes to go into some stretches. Shake it out if you need to. All right, here's what I'm gonna have you do. Come down onto one knee. All right, I'll do this like, breathe a little bit. Scoot yourself forward so the straps are pulling on your upper body. All right, if my left leg is down, I'm gonna scoot my hips forward and let my left, leg, left arm go back. Let that heart rate come down. Woo. So that puts me at about 160 maps, just shy of 800 calories in 50 minutes. Tall as you can, scoop that hip. All right, and then switch sides, 30 seconds per side. All right, I'm not leaning forward. I'm scooting myself forward so the steps pull my chest back. Whichever leg is back, that arm goes back. Scoop the hips. Three, two, one. All right, come on back around. Little hamstring stretch. Step back so your arms are fully extended. One toe up. Push your hips back. Get the toe towards you. Tall as you can. Pull the toe up, get the butt up, keep the chest up. Hold for about 20, 30 seconds. I know you're tired, but these stretches are important. Keeping that toe up, rotate to the bent leg, reaching up, butt is back, you should feel a stretch in the back as well. All right, now this time rotate to the toe side. And stand back up, shake the legs out. This time switch legs, toe up, extend back. Pull the toe up, get that leg straight, feel the hamstring and calf stretch. And then last couple, rotate towards the bent leg. Get that lat stretch. And rotate towards the straight leg. Take some pressure off that straight leg. And last five seconds. Three, two, one. And that is it. Ooh, thank you guys very much. Hope you guys had as much of a sweat as I did. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Again, this is Greg Johnson from Veramax Fitness. Sweating and breathing heavy. If you guys like this stuff, let us know. If you're trying these workouts, get a screenshot of yourself, take a picture, post it, tag us, let us know what you think, and keep giving us ideas. We'll keep giving you videos. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day.